Hello, and welcome to the epilogue to Super Mario 64. You know, I was editing the series, I, I was like, eh, hey, and early on I was like, ah, I, don't, I don't need an epilogue, I don't need an epilogue. And then I was just editing, and then one of the late episodes said, oh yeah, and then of course there'll be the epilogue, and I was just like, the epilogue? The epilogue? What? I'm doing an epilogue? <laughs> so now I'm forced to do an epilogue because I'm weird. <laughs> uh, and again, that's not to say I didn't like the series. I, I've, uh, I've obviously fully edited it now, and, you know, as far as solo series go, it's one of the best ones. Obviously, I tend to get more enjoyment both recording, editing, and uh, not just both. I tend to get more enjoyment out of recording, editing, and watching stuff that I do with friends, but that doesn't mean I don't like my solo content. And Mario 64 is actually pretty solid. It's, it's, out of all my, like, solo Let's Plays, I think it is easily the best one. Obviously, I had some mood swings of some episodes were better than others, but the good episodes I thought were really good and really fun. And I had a lot of fun recording it. Anyways, I, I don't want to do this as a separate video because it's been literally eons since I've recorded, but we're going to rank all the worlds. In Mario 64. I'm just pulling up a cheerless speaker so I don't get confused. Come on, seriously? What? Every 3D Super Mario level? Yeah, this works. I'm assuming it has all the 64 stuff. Nah, it's not easy. Um... Super Mario 64. What? All main levels in... The okay. Yeah, you too. You're seeing me grab a computer. Isn't this such a well planned out and professional epilogue? I'm also not centered. Because, like, center is like the dead center of my couch, and that's weird to sit in. Super Mario 64. Why? Super Mario 64. Sixty-four levels. There, add the levels and What the hell? Where is it? Has there there has to be one of these in Sheila Baker. What the heck? Come on! Super Mario 64 levels. There we go. Um, I do think worst right off the bat is Lethal Lava Land. Um, there's a lot of levels. There's a few levels I absolutely despise, but I think, without a doubt, that's so... I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Also, I'm not ranking all the Bowser levels and special levels. I'm only in the core world. I do not like Lethal Lava Land. I hated my time there. That is the lowest low of the series. Followed only, in my opinion, by Snowman's Land. Tic Tac Clock was awful, but most of my rage and frustration with Tic Tac Clock was off camera. So at least as far as on camera goes, Snowman's Land is the next worst. I just did not have fun with it. And I think part of the issue I was having is I was adjusting to using the N64 controller. I think if I had been using it the whole game, I wouldn't have had as much of an issue with Snowman's Land. But again... I then don't know. That, that, that's the past. I, I can't change that. I can't change that at all. TikTok Clock also is bad, though. Um, I just did not find its level design fun, particularly, I believe, the Star Four with, like, the thwomp they had to backflip off of. That sucked. Even, like, all the way to the top. That sucked. 100 Coins wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but the overall sucked. 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 Next, we're, we're out of the ones I hate. 
Every other world besides that, I, I don't mind. Uh, except Big Blue's Haunt. Big Blue's Haunt is the only... There's two only two more worlds outside of three that I don't like. Big Blue's Haunt... The, fight, the fact that you have to fight, what, King Boo three times, there's two stars that are crying it upstairs, and the controls in this game are really... make it out hard. It just was not a good time. And Cool Cool Mountain's kind of the same way. It really is that one star, the back, the backflip star that really, the wall kick, not backflip, the wall kick star that really lowers it for me, is do not like, do not like that at all. Most of the stars that were fine, though, the race kind of gave me a little bit of trouble too, but it was mostly the wall kick. But like, now we're not only out of the levels I hate, we're out of the levels I don't like. Everything else from here on out, I actually like it, it's actually really hard to like, what goes where from now on, but that's why I am going to go with Jolly Roger Bay next, is I don't think Jolly Roger Bay is really very noteworthy. I, I think it's kind of, there is a token early game water course, and that's kind of all I think of it as. It's, it's kind of just there. And, you know, obviously that doesn't make it bad, but it's definitely not my favorite. I kind of think it's one of the more boring levels in the game. Again, not that it's bad or anything, but it's it's one of the more boring ones, I feel. Uh, next, this is actually where it gets really, really, really hard. Because now we're already to levels I really like. Everything else I really like. Um, I am going to go with Dire Dire Docks, though. It's really the 100 coins that that guy that pulls you out and chucks you back to the hub. That was infuriating. That alone lowers this world. That alone lowers this world to the bottom of A tier. I can't put it any higher than that. Because that was so flipping annoying. So annoying. I hated that so much. Uh, next, I'm going to go with Womp's Fortress. You know, it's a good world, but there's not a lot going on. There's nothing really bad about it. It's well designed, but there's nothing too, too special either. But since there's nothing bad about it, that means it's still really good and better than a bunch of other courses in the game. Nothing too, too annoying about it, but there's nothing really to make it stand out. You know? You know. Um, what Dry World is probably next? I have always kind of had a soft spot from this world, even from back when I was just watching other people play this game. This is one of the world, these worlds, those worlds I was like, oh, this actually looks like a lot of fun. And then of course, it seems like most people hate this world, but I think they're actually just wrong. And it's actually really, really fun. Yeah. Uh, Tiny Huge is next. It's actually the final one in H tier. Tiny, Tiny Huge is good. It, 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 it's really good. But it's not amazing. It's actually not the final one in H tier. It, 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 it's 100 coins also kind of annoying me. It's giving really cool, though. There's a lot I really, really, really like about this world, though. Um, even though I struggled in the 100 coins a bit. The red coins also sucked. If it were for the red coin mission, I'd probably put this in S tier, though. Uh, just saying. Rainbow Ride. No, as a kid, I did not expect that I'd be playing Rainbow Ride at the top of A tier. Because it's just a bottomless pit. But I actually had a ton of fun playing Rainbow Ride. I don't know why. I don't know why I had fun with it. But I did. And that's what matters most. Like, there's a long list of why it's not well designed. But I don't care. This is, it is some of the most fun I've ever had playing this game. So it deserves top of A tier. Um, yeah, S tier, Tall Tall Mountain. This is another one of those levels that I never really thought of as a kid. And especially never thought of it being fun. And then I actually play it, and as I was like dreading it, I was like, uh, Tall Tall Mountain. And then I started playing it, and I was like, what? In the name of Goodly Blog Blee Blog? This is actually fun. So, it's an S tier. I, I, there's nothing wrong with this world. Other than the fact that that the red coin star can clip into the, the, the walls. But besides that, there's literally nothing wrong with this world. That is the only flaw. Besides that, it is perfect. It is so good. Love it. Speaking of perfection. Shifting sand lands. The desert map in this game is somehow in S tier. This is a not... It's funny. My top... My, my, most of my favorite maps were ones I was dreading. Rainbow Riot, dreading. Tall Tall Mountain, dreading. Shifting Sandlands? Dreading. It's a desert world. With a wing cap stars? But no, it was actually, again, 
a blast. It really helped, I think, that this came after Lethal Lava Land, and this also came after my new positivity attitude that started once I started editing the series. But I had so much fun with Shifting Sandlands that I had to put it in S tier. If I were to pick up Mario 64 right now, I'd play one of these S tier maps, and I definitely would consider Shifting Sandlands. Is it just a good one to start on? Because it's just so much fun. It really is. Uh, next, we are going with Babom Battlefield. You know, it's crazy. The first level in this game is my second favorite, but it's well designed. It's a perfect introduction to 3D platforming. There's some annoying stars. Like, if it weren't for the wing cap coin one, which I probably wouldn't mind. If I played it later in the game, I probably wouldn't have minded it at all. But if it weren't for that, I think it would be number one. Because it's just that good. But number one's Hazy Maze Cave. Sure, I had to do the 100 coins like 10 times. But that's, but the fact that I still love this world that much after doing that is a testament of how darn good it is. It's good. Darn good. I, I, Hazy Maze is phenomenal. I, 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 the music, it has my favorite music track of any of the levels. It has my favorite visuals. And I just think it's a really fun place to go around in. Um, you know, we're to rank some of the other stuff. Um, uh, pretty much all the uh, secret stars go bottom tier. Like, above, in between Lethal Lava Land and Snowman's Land is the Aquarium. Top, bottom of C tier is the Slide. Again, because they're just kind of boring. Um, the Hazy Maze Metal Cap Secret actually goes top of B, because I actually really like that one. Um, this doesn't have all of them. This tier list actually doesn't have that one with the slide thing in the, the Castle Grounds, like, boat. It doesn't have that one. That's bottom. That's below Lethal Lava Land. But it's not here, though. Uh, the... Upstairs wing cap level, I actually had a ton of fun with that. I'm putting it right, I'm putting it in between Thwomp and Wet Dry. Uh, the first wing cap I'm putting ahead of Snowman's Land below TikTok Clock. First Bowser level I am putting a but in between um, 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 tall, tall, Cool Cool Mountain and Boo, Big Boo's Haunt. The second Bowser level I'm putting. Bottom of B tier behind, uh, Dire Dire. Not Dire Dire, Jolly Roger. And, oops, that's the wrong one. In the final, ba final Bowser level, I am putting below Dire Dire. But in B tier. So, yeah. That's my epilogue. It's mostly just a tier list. I didn't want to make it a full video. Uh, next week, Gamer Family, will be the start of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. So originally, it was going to be a Wonder Let's Play. And when you watch that video, you'll see a sizzle reel of Mario Wonder, because we record one episode, it'll be a sizzle reel of the funny moments, but then it'll be like that, because it, well, this new Super Mario U, I think it's a way worse game, but it's a lot more fun with four people, and it, I think it's a lot more fun to watch as a Let's Play, so that's why that was done. Anyways, enjoy that, because it is so good!